You're trying to say to me, it's for my, what, for just one little fag and then he's got, what, have to be in court now because of a fag? No, that caution for court is if you don't pay the fine. I'm giving you a ticket for a right, fine. Right, so you're telling me I can't pay the fine just because I've got one fag right there no, and then there's so many fags around. No, you pay a fine, I give you a ticket and you then ring up and pay the fine. If you don't want to pay it, you tell them you don't want to pay it and discuss why, okay? But I, why do I have to pay a, just a drop of fat? Because that's a criminal offence. But have anyone else paid for that? Yeah, not, I do lots, I do several a day. But I've seen a lot of people dropping their thing and then no one even doing about it. Yeah, but it, so. the difference is, is I haven't seen them. Unless I, don't, unless I see them, I can't give them a ticket. Okay, but how come you didn't like tell me to come out, like told me to go while you was there when you saw me drop it? Instead of bringing me out just so I was gonna have a haircut. You could at least like told me, can you please like pick up your back? I did call you. I can't, my job, I'm not paid to warn people, I'm paid to issue fines for people who offend me because we've already publicised it online in the papers and on the news. Right, but and wouldn't it be easier warnings. just to tell me to pick up the fag would be easier? And then, and then I'd then love it if I got paid to do that, but I don't. I'm paid to do this, I'm afraid. Okay. So you're just doing it to get paid? No, I'm paid a proper rate. I'm not paid per ticket, but I am paid to enforce the law, and that's what they're doing. Right, so I don't really get what was the problem me just drop one little fag. I could just pick it up. Because you've walked away from it, and walking away from it is a criminal offence, so that's what you're receiving a fine for. Because so what if, if I just pick up now and uh, I just don't get a ticket? Okay, if I wasn't stood there watching you, or came to speak to you, would you have picked it up? Well, I don't know, probably not. No, well, exactly, and that's why I'm giving you a ticket. Because I don't today. know where to put it. Like I've just told you, in bins or a pocket ashtray, so okay. Well, I don't see a bin around here, so... There, the other side of there, there's several bins around there. No, I don't okay. see any of the bins. Unfortunately, that's your fault, I'm afraid. You've not disposed of, disposed of your cigarette in the proper manner. Did you realise it was against the law? Well, no, because I thought it was just a little fag. It's not really a big litter, isn't it? It is if you know the impacts of it that it really has and that's another part of this job is to make create awareness and educate. Right. So leaving your cigarette on the floor, it's transmitting germs and diseases from your mouth to other people that may be walking around on the floor. Other wildlife could pass the germs from that. Nicotine's a toxin, it's poisonous especially for animals. And also, that cigarette will last until you've gone. That cigarette will outlift you. So every cigarette you throw on the floor will still be on this planet when you're gone. Okay, so... And that's why, because it's a massive impact, a massive problem. There's plastic in every one of them cigarette books. Gets in our waterways, it transfer... So how much is the ticket then? Right, if you pay it in 10 days, it's £80. It's £80 just for one little fag, right? It was yeah. only 50p. <laughs> I'm sorry, that no, 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 I'm sorry, but you can't really charge me for eighty pound just for one little fag. And by the way, you are recording for my That's protection fine. as well. Yeah. So I'm this just saying, I'm just saying well, what so. you just said, right? You're telling me I got to pay eighty pound for one little fag. Yep. Yeah. What? It only cost me what fifty p for one fag. Yeah. Why? How come you have to be high? I'm sorry, but that's just stupid. I don't create the prices, so that's the council. Like I say, you can dispute this and argue it if you want. However, I can argue it, because I couldn't just say, right, it's only 50p for a fag. I can just pick it up and put it in the bin right now, and then I won't get a ticket. No, you would, because Why would already, I get a ticket? Because you've already committed the criminal offence. That's not a criminal offence. A criminal offence if I'm robbing a place or not, but I'm not... Unfortunately, the law states that it's a criminal offence, and if you Right, and you have to, what, pay 50 quid? Just for one little fag, but it's eighty pound, and that's a reduced fee. Oh, so eight, the actual yeah. fine is a hundred pound. That's a reduced fee, sir. I do need to ask you if you've got any ID, and if you're going do to Do I need comply. to bring my ID to you? Is no, it? but you do need to give me your details because Why do if I need you don't, I call the police because it's a further criminal offence. It's not really a further offence if I don't want to give my ID out to anyone. It is, but I don't want it. Okay, well, I'll call the police then. You can call the police if you want. I can say it's the same thing. It's my right. I can not give my ID to them if I don't want to. So you want to wait a couple of hours for the police? Go ahead.